Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from shoulda-get-it.com. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more car videos that regularly come out Tuesdays at 10 a.m. I had to make this video because today Tesla announced the new redesign of the Tesla Model S, their main flagship car, the sedan. As you'll see on the exterior, there's not much new going on. It looks very similar to the Model S that we've seen since 2012. We had essentially just a front facelift update that happened a few years into the Model S being out, and now we have a brand brand new kind of replacement refresh for the Model S for late 2021. So these cars are gonna start coming out probably I would assume December, maybe realistically January, February, 2022. But the biggest changes are not on the outside, they are on the inside. So if we take a look, all of the new Tesla Model S's will have the new steering wheel. That's probably the first thing that you'll notice. And it is very similar to the steering wheel found in the Tesla Roadster concept. The Tesla Roadster is gonna come out, but you can see it's not a full circle steering wheel like a normal car. It is kind of this half wheel, looks very much like a Formula One racing wheel, which is very interesting in a luxury everyday sedan. But again, with Tesla's self-driving capabilities, people aren't gonna be using the steering wheel all that much. And when they put their foot down and they really get into the steering, they're gonna have the option now to experience experience it with this new sportier steering wheel, which you can see in the images here. You'll also notice that the touchscreen, which used to be portrait in the Tesla Model S before, is now horizontal. So you have a wide screen that's in the center, so you have that large display, more similar to the Model 3, but with a smaller bezel, and it pops out more in the center, so it's a little bit lower in the dash. And now we have a new screen as well above the actual new steering wheel where the gauges, or that gauge cluster, has been in the Tesla Model S. It was of course a screen in the Tesla Model S. In the previous models, it is just a newly revamped and kind of redesigned screen. From the driver's seat and the passenger seat, it looks different. Now, speaking of the passenger seats, you also have an update in the back because now you have a surprise display that is on the rear. So you can actually have kids play games from the back seats. On the back of the center console, there is a display where I'm assuming you'll have your climate controls for the rear seats, probably including heated seats, regular dual zone climate control, all that sort of stuff. And we now have crazy numbers with the Tesla Plaid model available. So that is going to have 520 miles of range for the Model S Plaid Plus. So it's going to be 520 miles of range, 0 to 60 in less than two seconds. So 1.99 seconds claimed 0 to 60. I believe it. The McLaren 765 LT, which is a rear wheel drive car with about 750 plus horsepower, is doing low two seconds, zero to 60s. This is an all wheel drive, triple motor electric car that has a ton of torque from basically zero RPM. So doing a two second, zero to 60, the hardest part there is the tires and not the power from the motors. So that is your quick update on the Tesla Model S. 2021 refresh. It's got a new interior, so you have new touchscreen that's horizontal. You have a new steering wheel that's very interesting. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the steering wheel. We also have a new display for the gauges above the new steering wheel. We have a display in the back between the front and a passenger seat, the front driver and passenger seat. We have a display there. And now we have the option for 520 miles of range with the Model S Plaid Plus. And the price of that is $139,000 without option. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're excited about Tesla, make sure to subscribe, share this video with a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.